Hello YouTube, happy weekend. I have only like a few minutes to film this and we're gonna see if we can do like an entire 10 minute video, like within 10 minutes, like literally. I got a couple of things in the mail and this is actually kind of like sad. I just cleaned up this entire area and I've already gotten it all dirtied already. I didn't even clean up from my last video. I did my show. I did complete an illustration on the Canson paper. Where is it? So I used the, this is huge, the Canson Graduate Mixed Media Paper. I don't know, kind of mixed feelings. This is definitely like the largest illustration I think I've done in traditional media, to be honest with you. So I had to draw kind of large, which is, uh, it felt abnormal for me. The paper was okay. It, I guess it was fine. I had some warping issues and I don't know, it wasn't quite tan enough for me, but I mean, it did get the job done. And I think the illustration itself in real life looks pretty nice and i may actually frame this for myself and put it up on the wall because i don't i don't know where else to put it pretty proud of that just not not my favorite paper i still prefer the hanamil paper to be honest with you and i like uh, the darkness of like the strathmore mixed media paper more it just made the whites pop more i think and i go through a lot of white gouache and watercolor i did I think I pretty much filmed the entire process of this maybe and I was gonna post that but I had a couple other things show up in the mail and I have to get to it first which has kind of derailed my filming plans so let me show you what else I have to do this weekend okay so this guy here let's turn him upside down so Artify was very nice and sent me a huge thing of alcohol markers to try. So I have to film this for TikTok. So that's why my my plans have been derailed for the most part. I'm going to spend my weekend doing something small because I have to upload this to TikTok. And I was debating on whether or not I wanted to do that for YouTube too. And I may do a little bit on here, but I think most of it's going to go to TikTok just for the sake of you know filming vertically and horizontally it's a lot of work to film stuff the downside is is this box took a beating on its way to me and it broke so it doesn't close all the way sadly I don't really think that was an artify problem I think it might have just been my male person jostled it too hard because it did come in bubble wrap I don't know it's cool it comes with a um, swatch sheet so this is 80 colors and I got the brush pens so their brush and a chisel nib so that's exciting i do like getting new alcohol markers and these look really pretty and it's 80 colors they sent me like 80 so i'm just i'm just happy to get anything love getting free stuff and i love when companies notify me and they're like hey can we send you stuff and i'm like yes thank you for finding me so we're going to do that this weekend and then the next thing that i got was i actually paid for this so I got, maybe I used my alcohol markers for this too, maybe. But I got the Magical Woodland Coloring Book by Kate Pellerin. It's, I, I love Poopy Cat's use of colored pencils. And when I saw that she was making a book, I was like, I want it. And I think I pre-ordered this ages and ages and ages ago because I honestly don't remember when I purchased it. It just showed up in my mail the other day and I was like, hey. So just a coloring book, it's super cute. Everything is cute. So I don't know, this might go hand in hand. Maybe for this video, I'll color a page using those markers as well. Look how cute. So I got this on Amazon. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I just know that I enjoy their colored pencils and I wanted something of them. I don't know if she has an art book herself, but if she had an art book, I would get it. And then that gets me into the other thing that I had ordered because I love art books. This just came in the mail yesterday also. Let's see if I can toss everything in the floor. I held off on opening this so that I could open it on YouTube with you guys. But I got the Wayfinder art book by Gretel Lusky. This was another thing where I knew that they were coming out with an art book. I remember staring at the advertisements for it, telling myself I should order that. And then I was like, no, I shouldn't. I've spent too much money. And then I'll go, no, I should order that. And apparently I did order it. Like my memory is that bad. I did order it and I was really happy when it came in the mail. I was like, go me, because I really wanted it. I think she had some that were like a signed version. I don't think I got that. Oh, it's shiny. Can y'all see the silver on the sides? 
Look how pretty and like watercolory it is. So I have not scrolled through this yet. This is my first time looking at it. Again, I don't know if she wants me to spoil this for the, oh, she does little, I like drawing, <laughs> I like drawing my art utensils too. I want to do an art book one day. Oh, I really like this. This is a great idea. I don't know if y'all can see, but like the background kind of looks like it's the texture of paper. Then with her illustrations on it, that looks really nice actually. it's That's not really the paper texture, but it's printed with the paper texture on there. I like that idea. I don't draw people often. What I like about her artwork is her use of um, the, the black outlines. I have an issue, I cannot draw with black outlines like that, but I kind of admire people who do. They make it look like it's purposeful, and if I try to do black line art, it just looks like it's a hot mess. So this is a beautiful book to add to my collection of other artists' books. Let me see what's in here, because I'm assuming this is some sort of an art print. Oh, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Is that just an art card? Oh, they're postcards. Postcards. And then, oh, we got some bookmarks. And these ones are stickers. I just like looking at other people's ideas. I like how the stickers have like a background to it. It's not just white. It looks artistic also. So I'll probably put these maybe on my new sketchbook that I recently started. So anyway, I will put the links down to both of these in case you guys are interested in them too. I just, all these people are strangers to me. I don't know these artists in real life, but I do get really proud of other online artists when I see them get successful. And I'm like, oh, good for you for making something of yourself, stranger. Good job. Because I'm happy that I have it. Let's see how this guy handles a little bit of alcohol markers. I don't know a whole lot about all of these alcohol marker brands that are out here anymore. And I'm not that artistically inclined to know everything that there is about light fastness. But I do like to think about things you know, like when I was a little kid. What are things that little kid me would have loved? And little kid me knew that markers like Copic markers were the end all be all. Right, And way back when, this was like in the early 2000s, we didn't have as many brands. Like you had Copic and that was pretty much it. And they were super expensive and super pricey. So when I did get Copic markers, it was I was afraid to use them because they were precious treasures. Like if I used them and I wasted them, then I wouldn't have them anymore and I didn't have the money to replace them. But nowadays, the young people are so lucky and that they have so many different types of brands out there. And I am all for dupe culture. From what I've heard from other artists, like Copics just are not that great like they used to be. Like the quality has decreased. I think people complain that they dry out and they get moldy and they're just really expensive for what they are. So I am all for an alcohol marker that's cheaper and to be honest with you, I don't even think Copics are really light fast. I don't think you're supposed to put any illustrations by Copics in the sun because they just don't last that long anyway. These ones are nice because they do have the brush tips. I think any alcohol marker worth their weight has got to have a brush tip. It just makes blending so much easier. So these at the moment, they feel like your Copic marker. I'm not entirely sure if that color exactly matches what's on the cap, but it does have the pigment code. Comes with this handy dandy carrying case. Let me see if her paper leaks really badly through the other side. I didn't. It's not going on to this page. That actually looks quite nice if I do say so myself. 
I do, again, have some interesting separation of the ink, but I am using not alcohol marker right now. This is just coloring book paper, and I think that's fine. I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like I always base things on what would I like when I was a kid artist, and these would honestly probably get anything that I wanted to do done. It's a nice, just another budget marker, alcohol marker set. And it seems like it works perfectly like it's supposed to. More affordable again compared to Copic. So yeah, how how long is this video going? Did I reach the 10 minute mark? I don't know. Anyway, I think this is probably a video more for the adult colorist community rather than the artist community maybe. Anyway, if you're an adult colorist or you like coloring books, I think this is a wonderful little gift thing. I'm going to continue doing this probably for the rest of the afternoon. Um, and then thanks to Artify again for sending these to me. My weekend one more time, I am going to film a swatching video of these for TikTok. I'll probably do like an unboxing swatching video for TikTok and posting that there. And then I am waiting for um, another company is sending me some other stuff. So probably next week, I'm assuming, I will have another video, probably I think some watercolors. I have some watercolors that are coming to me. So I have to think of something to illustrate for that also. Um, so that's coming up. And then what else? Probably do, I'll probably do back-to-back -back videos maybe. Uh, the paint with me video probably for this will probably go up next. I don't know, I may hold off on that until maybe a week where I'm bored and I don't feel like filming a new video just then. Maybe I'll save that. But this illustration, um, I've already kind of, by the time I'm posting this, this illustration's already done did on the Twitter. It's already on social media. I just, I think I need to photo edit it more so it looks better digitally online. But that's it. That's all that I'm doing. If anybody has questions, concerns, let me know. Um, I'm going to leave this here and just a quick little video. I will see you guys the next weekend. Bye-bye.